Hello everyone, Logan from Curated Avalon. Today I have a new fountain pen to share. I haven't seen it yet, I just took the tape off and I'm really excited for this one. This is my first purchase from an independent small business fountain pen maker. Uh, everything I've had previously has been from a larger company. Uh, I was intrigued by this pen because the maker, uh, Relic Pens, I found him on Instagram a few months ago. He makes uh, fountain pens and other really cool accessories, I believe ballpoint pens as well, uh, out of historical wood. So wood from battleships or historical sites and I just thought that was so incredibly cool. And I noticed on his Instagram feed that he had some his well historical uh, pens made from uh, wood on George Washington's property and Thomas Jefferson and I want to say James Madison but I might be wrong about that one anyway some of our presidents and historical figures through the years in the US and that was very intriguing to me uh, I thought that was really cool to have something that was from the property of a historical figure that I admired and uh, well I chose the Thomas Jefferson one I'm really excited to see this. This was from a tree on Thomas Jefferson's historical property. Uh, and of course, where sits Monticello. So really excited to get into this. And I think I'm just gonna go ahead. So he said he had lasered a box for the pen to go in. I think that's probably gonna be pretty cool. Okay, I think that's it. So I'm assuming this is the box. I have been interested in historical figures since I was quite young and I just never stopped loving history. So this, this really just excites me. So this is the box and it has Thomas Jefferson's signature and poplar forest. Uh, it was made from one of the poplar trees. This is the inside and Patrick J. Ross is the maker. It reads, the barrel of this pen is made of tulip poplar timber that was grown, harvested, milled at Thomas Jefferson's Poplar Forest and used in the ongoing restoration of the home at Poplar Forest. So got, oh, wood shavings. Oh my goodness. That is clever. Why not? Waste not, want not. Of course, that was Benjamin Franklin, but moving on. This is the pen. I love the sleeve he has. It's very nice. Keep it good and safe during travel. Okay, here's the pen. Oh my goodness. Very lovely. That's a really good size. This is an acrylic cap. The body has a really good shape. See the wood grain? That's quite sharp looking. I like it screw cap. Oh, and the grip section is the same acrylic. Very nice. This is a Bach nib, if I remember correctly. I believe he said a number five. Looks really good. Color-wise, this is an unusual choice for me. I just liked it. I thought it looked really sharp, and I totally wanted a Thomas Jefferson pen. I just, it just kind of makes me a little giddy. I think it's really cool. The writer of our declaration, oh my goodness, all the, the incredible things that man did. I mean, right down to inventing archaeology uh, practices that we still use today. Absolutely stunning. I cannot wait to ink this up 
and try it out. Well, don't want to put the signature upside down. Oh, and it fits in the box well, and you could even stick the little shavings in there if you wanted to. So cute. Yeah, just a random thing I saw on Instagram and just absolutely fell in love with. And talking with Patrick on Instagram just seems like a really cool guy. And I love buying from small businesses, especially fairly local artists. Anyway, I cannot wait to try this pen. It screws on and off really well. And I'm really interested to see how I'm going to like having an acrylic grip section. It's comfortable. Uh, the wood feels good. Yeah, I'm looking forward to this. Thank you so much for watching. And check out Relic Pens.